Hey there, it's Christina Walls. I wanted to uh, hop on here right quick and talk about um, self-closing. Um, there's a dragonfly. Uh, self-closing on uh, properties. So some of the properties that I buy, I self-close on and some of them I send to a title company. So what determines whether I self-close or I use a title company? Sometimes it depends on the uh, price of the property that I'm uh, purchasing. If it's a cheap piece of land, and I'm getting it for a couple thousand dollars and I've done a quick uh, deed search uh, myself. I've looked up the deed and I see it's, you know, it was a clean transfer, you know, maybe, maybe a warranty deed to a warranty deed to a warranty deed, something like that. And um, all the people on these deeds are still living, no probates needed. Uh, there's no weird attachments or, you know, different uh, situations can occur. Uh, indeed, I will go ahead and self-closing. So self-closing is really quite easy and it saves you maybe about $1,500 oftentimes, which is good if the property is cheap. You know, it, it's painful to buy a piece of land for $500 and then have to turn around and pay, pay $1,500 for closing costs or, you know, a low price point. So for self-closing, it's pretty simple. You do a deed search. You can either uh, pay somebody to do a, um, a, a deed search for you, um, or you can go online and you can look it up. Uh, one of the things you want to look out for, though, is HOAs and back taxes, because sometimes you have to pay uh, delinquent uh, back taxes and delinquent HOA. So those are some of the things that you need to make sure that you're looking uh, for and looking on. And so basically, once you find out that there's no issues with the transfer of the deeds and it looks like a clean uh, transfer, you just um, then uh, draw up a deed. Uh, there are templates you can get. Uh, I think uh, there's some websites where you can actually download them or pay for um, the deed according to your state. You can prepare it, uh, put the, make sure you look at the past deeds, make sure the legal descriptions are proper, the uh, APNs, the names, everything. Make sure everything is uh, good and um, done correctly. So then what you do, you take that deed down to the courthouse, uh, the recording department, the clerk of courts, and you record it. Um, like once you have purchased it and you've bought the lot, you want to record it in your name or your business name so that um, the taxes are then transferred to you and that you are on record as the uh, owner. You own it once the deed is already in your name. Um, but recording it is uh, like the public notice that you're the owner. So then um, that is kind of the general process of self-closing. Uh, you pay recording fees, uh, uh, and you pay sales tax so you can call the county up and find out what those are even before you um uh, show up so you know but it's so cheap usually like i just recorded a deed the lot was four thousand dollars i paid to have it notarized recorded and sales tax it was 65 dollars you know and that was the complete transfer so um, these are some of the strategies that I use to save some money sometimes when I'm closing on cheap properties that don't have any title issues. Um, if you're interested in learning how to be a land investor, now these are some of the things that you learn through the course of time uh, of actually doing it. Uh, but there is a link down below. There is uh, some classes that are coming up. Uh, you can purchase some classes on learning how to be a land investor. Um, so... Um, Good luck selling those lots.